to NURFM.com, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. And so pleased to welcome along to the 2NURFM studios from the University of Newcastle, Emeritus Professor John Hamilton. Now, welcome along, John. Nice to have you here Thank with you, us. David. Thank you. We're having a chat about the 2015 Memorial John McPhee Seminar, which is coming up. I thought you might be able to give us a little background to John McPhee, please. Yes, thank you very much. The the event uh, commemorates a very fine lawyer, John McPhee, who was linked to the university and most particularly to the Ethics and Health Law Clinical Unit at the Health Service. And his focus was on how law and health interrelated. He used to get up at four o'clock every morning, review the international web-based new developments, and produce a newsletter that was received all over the world to keep up to date. Very self-effacing man, very gentle, very kindly, sadly died young. Mm. And so we commemorate him each year in this seminar. And, and a good one this year, the topic is human rights and health in North Korea. And the very special guest will be the Honourable Michael Kirby. Can you tell me a little bit about him, please? Yes. Well, Michael Kirby is probably known to most people. He's perhaps our most well-known and most eminent and most creative of lawyers in Australia. And uh, the focus of this particular uh, seminar is his recent work as the chairman of the United Nations Commission of Inquiry into Human Rights Abuse in North Korea. Now, that's a mouthful. That was a very delicate task. Uh, A group of three people, of which he was the lead, had to analyze, investigate, and inquire into what is actually a disastrous, tyrannical situation in North Korea that we are aware of. Mm and to try to come up with some ideas of, well, how does the rest of the world respond, which really deals with the much bigger issue of how can the United Nations and other nations do anything about the people within a nation who are subjected to control and tyranny. John, I'm thinking this is going to prove to be a very popular seminar because a lot of people are interested in what's happening with North Korea and especially this topic. Yes, yes, I think that is true. Um, You will find uh, from his report, and I've read the 700 pages, and it's a very penetrating report. uh, For instance, food allocation becomes used as a political control mechanism. So hence starvation, and we remember the famines that occurred some years back on several occasions. Um, The control of uh, people's thinking, their education, the stratification of society, that those who are in in favor with the military or the party get the best deals, the rest don't. That stratifies society into a terrible, unmovable um, uh, deprivation. It leaves us with the question, what can we do about this North Korean regime and what they seem to be getting away with? Well, I think that's what the talk will will focus on at the end. It'll be interesting that we have a group of school children who are are Korean-born, adopted into Australian families who will be attending, and they keep track and visit uh, South Korea to keep track of their own heritage. So we'll have a diverse audience. It will be of great value to people, not only from health, but from all walks of life. This is co-sponsored, I should say, by the university because it is this centennial uh, or 50-year celebration. And Michael Kirby was Deputy Chancellor for many years previously. Many listeners may have uh, received their degree from his hands. So please, you can come and share the information with us and just enlighten us a little bit on what we can look forward to from this seminar. Okay, well, uh, he will give an account of how they tackle the task of investigating a country that refused entry, refused to acknowledge the right of the United Nations to do anything about it. Reminds us a little bit about how we were finger-wagging at international bodies for lecturing us in Australia Mm -hmm. about the way we do things. (laughs) And uh, how they explored through many, many witnesses, many who'd left the country, some of them in open forum, some of them in secret sessions, private sessions, um, collating a huge array of accounts, cross-validating, using satellite technology to validate prison camps and this sort of thing. Um, The country itself dismisses this whole thing. And so that's the challenge. How Mm. does the rest of the world do something for that disempowered group? Uh, North Korea now has a reasonable expectation of nuclear power. They have weapons. (laughs) So you can't just march in and do something about it. China is their main support and ally. doesn't mean that China necessarily thinks they're doing everything right, but that adds an extra dimension to the politics that's going to be everywhere you go. 
Well, thank you for coming in this morning and talking about it, John. My pleasure. We look forward to seeing lots of people there. We hope so too. University of Newcastle's Emeritus Professor John Hamilton joining us this morning. It's the 2015 Memorial John McPhee Seminar. You can come along, Griffith Duncan Lecture Theatre, Monday night from 6.30 to 8. And the topic, Human Rights Health and Health in North Korea. And our very special guest, the Honourable Michael Kirby, will be joining us. For more details, contact us here at 2NURFM 103.7.